I got really pissed off one time. I'm no goddamn. This is how I was getting my first lesson being stereotyped. <laughs> Called me a hooter. I said, man, I work the Gemini missile program. You talk to me about being no. <laughs> I can get a B-52 bomber cleaned up. You know, this is the kind of argument I make about myself and my relationship with the politician and the politicians. But that was the beginning of the party. In effect, having led that armed delegation, they put me in jail for six months. That was all I could give me in six months. They call it disturbing the peace of the California State Legislature. We got accidentally led into the floor. I was trying to find the spectators section where citizens sit and watch. You know, and this horde of press, I'm talking about 60, 70 press people. Um, and they were everywhere in front of me, walking out, says, where's the spectator section? This way, Bobby, this way. Five of the brothers got ahead of me, and the other press led them into the actual floor of the assembly, not the spectator section. They had walked all the way down with their rifles and shotguns sitting on their shoulders. <coughs> and the president pro tem up there at the legislature was banging on the gavel. Bow, bow. The press, because the cameras busted in just to see these guys going in there. And they were ahead of me. I, I wasn't there when they did that. This press is not allowed on the floor of the assembly while the assembly is in a session. The president, he didn't even see the guys with the guns. <laughs> this is the whole problem with him. And I came in, I said, hey man, we're in the wrong place. And I ran up the aisle, I said, hey you guys, come on man, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> in the wrong place, this is not the spectator section, you know. I'm, well, and then two or three of them ducked under the table, I said, hey man, I'm sorry. They led us in the wrong place. Come on, you guys. <laughs> they later arrested my people. <laughs> arrested us all. And uh, I got them out of jail. My brother-in-law was a bail department. And uh, got them out of jail. And then they only charged me and the five who went inside the legislative body there. And uh, let everybody else go. There were no gun charges. None. And after we got arraigned and everything, we went over to the police department and said, you have to give us our guns back. They said, well, no chip gun charges or nothing. We're not giving you any goddamn guns back. Get the hell out of here. Went over there and got our lawyer to the judge. The honor, boom, 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 the guns is our private property. Cannot remove them from us without the right. Yeah, you're right. You're right, said the judge. I told the DA to tell him to give them. Guys, these guys had guns back. We got our guns back. So we were in the law. You see what I'm getting at? Understand that. A lot of people want to portray us is that if they, they got guns, they automatically doing something illegal. No, we were. Okay. That's the way I made sure that we had that organization set up. They put me in jail for five, six months. That was the maximum they could give me for it's a misdemeanor. And I was out in five months. But by the time I was out in five months, Huey Newton had gotten a shootout, which she was shot first, we proved in court, by Officer Fry. And uh, those are the things that happened. So it wasn't until 1968, after we organized this free Huey birthday rally, <coughs> February 17th, that was Huey's birthday. You know, and uh, we have organized that. And then right after that, oh my God, I had 7,000 people in the Oakland Auditorium, the same Oakland Auditorium that Dr. Martin Luther King spoke in. 